play with the spread, play with the line, because these are the ones that will will burn your uh par- burn your uh spread parlay. I've, it's happened where everything came into place and then that damn plus two and a half didn't come in or the the minus minus two didn't come in because they, we lost by they won by one and you tell tell yourself damn we could have just paid the extra insurance and just got the money line oh man we could have got the plus money and just went that way you know what I mean but it happens it happens but thank you very much sir and I feel like you know I'm just trying to put the betters in a sharp sharp. Uh, way, but you know what? They're 50 50 games, so I think we're doing about what the consensus is doing with these games, regardless of anything. So, yep, um, we move forward. Let's go ahead and talk about the Broncos and the Bears. This is winless on winless, Jeff. Um, plus three and a half to the Bears, over under a 45 and a half. This game is stinky, stanky. I'm gonna let you go first, though. Tell us what your thoughts are on this game and what. Do and who wins, you know, because we don't need to go into what do they, they need to do. What about this game and who wins? My true number was three, uh, with a 44 and a half. It's up to it's back, to, it's still at three and 45. So the only movement right now is, is a is a smidge to the over. Um, when's the last time Broncos had a head coach that, that was successful? It's been a long, long time. Uh, uh, and, and then when's the last time they had a quarterback? And they had to take a, a – I don't want to use the word retread, but they had to bring Peyton Manning over. And when they won the Super Bowl, it was the defense that won the Super Bowl. It wasn't Peyton Manning. It was check down Peyton Manning and Omaha. Uh, two teams that right now are ascending towards the number one pick right now. You cannot leave – you can't give up 70 points – in an NFL game, especially when you are 0-2, the sense of urgency. The team quit. They quit at halftime. They were like, ah, we can't come back here. There is a real divide now between Peyton and Russell Wilson. I'm hearing from a few people, it's not if, it's when. He but he benches Russell Wilson. Now, Russell Wilson will be the scapegoat here. You know, Javante Williams hasn't led up to uh, taking over a game. Their defense has been putrid, putrid. Uh, uh, Judy is not 100%. Uh, go to the other side. Uh, the writing now is on the wall. Justin Fields, at this point, uh, uh, it was not the right selection. Uh, there's a million quarterbacks coming out. A loss here is to 0 and 4. Now you're going to hear the same thing. Uh, uh, I'm sorry about Justin Fields. Um, look for Roscoe to take over the backfield there. DJ Moore's been okay. Cole Komet, nowhere to be found. Uh, I, I'm just, I bought the hook here. I took the Broncos down to three. I wouldn't be shocked if, if the Bears laid a whooping on him and it was Justin Fields coming out party. And that ride, that flight home from Chicago to Denver, you're going to hear it, you know. Uh, a, a mouse. Uh, that's how quiet it will be. Loser of this game, the season's absolutely over. Not that the Broncos, if they do win uh, at one and three, have anything to say in the matter. Broncos minus three. I, I this game, I have zero confidence on either side. You're probably supposed to take the home dog and pray here, but we'll see what Sean Payton's have made out of pups. Well, you know. He, I, I totally agree with the Broncos sentiments that the blame game is going to go on Russell Wilson. But before they blame Russell Wilson and before they blame Sean Payton, Vance Joseph is going to be the one that's going to get crucified. He's already been crucified after Sunday. And he was getting crucified in week two as well, too. You know, only week he didn't get talked about bad was week one. So we know that he's going to be the first one on the chopping block. If he, I don't even know how he still has a job right now. But – He's still there, and we all know if you lose to the Bears on Sunday, heads are going to roll. It's that simple. Heads are about to roll. But one thing I can say about the Broncos' management and their ownership group, Jeff, is is that they're a little bit more patient than the the Bears are because the Bears have a fan base that is is rabid, and they feel like they're entitled to – being one of the elite teams in the NFL, you know, because the NFL is a better place when the Bears are one of our better teams. 
And, you know, they, they're hurt. Their feelings are hurt. They're hurt because they feel like they've made enough excuses for this team over time that, you know, they should have been improved already. I'm going to keep it real. Justin Fields is not the Bears' problem. The Bears' problem is whoever's calling the plays, whoever's structuring this offense, whoever's calling this defense. Because look at the numbers. Justin had 143 total yards, passing and running. The team had 203 without him. Literally, he's your whole offense. So he can't be the problem. I refuse to say he's the problem. Because you have other people out there not contributing the way that they're supposed to. And the Bears, if they don't have a great defense, they're not going to be a great team. They're not even going to be good. They might, they're might they lower than mediocre. It's almost like like we said in uh, Moneyball, Jeff. Uh, what's that thing that's lower than the dirt? Yeah, we that. That's where the Bears are at when their defense ain't good. But with all that said, I truly do feel like the Bears are going to make an effort of this game. I don't know if they win. I don't know if they win. But I know one thing, though, this game is going to come down to the final play. I'm taking the Bears with the plus three and a half in this spot. And I feel like, you know, home team, we don't have to take them to win the game, even though I probably am going to put them on straight up winners is the winner. But let's go ahead and let's have this last ditch effort to try to at least make the game close. But if they get blown out, I'm going to tell you like this. That coach is probably getting fired at, 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 at before he even touches the tunnel. We can see McCarthy, a McCarthy situation all over again. Seriously, because they got to fire him before they kill him. You know, that's the whole thing because they don't play in Chicago. They're already frustrated about a whole bunch of other stuff going on in that city. Um, the Bears shouldn't be – they don't want the Bears to be a part of that. You know what I mean? So, hey – you, you got to do that coach a favor. If they lose on Sunday, he got to go for his own safety, <laughs> period, point blank. So I'm taking the Bears plus three and a half, and that's going to be that. So we are 30 minutes in, a little bit over, but that's okay. That means we speed it up.